Today I'm going to show you a new recipe of a raccoon. We're going to make raccoon burgers today. And I've already cut it up and pre-weighed it. Right now we're going to do a 70-30. I've got 70% uh, raccoon meat and i got 30% beef fat. And you can go anywhere to a butcher shop and purchase uh, beef fat pretty daggone cheap. So, like I said, um, I'm not a professional grinder, but we're going to do it the best we can. If it don't look like it's even enough, um, we'll, we'll grind it again. So, today, we're going to make raccoon burgers. And there's nothing fancy about it. So, we'll just grab some meat. We'll just keep on putting it in there. I need a push stick. No. Don't look too bad coming out. I just, uh, I don't have this thing anchored down to the picnic table. My wife's in the house making up uh, pies and cakes and all. So we're gonna try to make enough burger here to uh, make a couple of hamburgers. Mm. And you gotta get that meat kind of frozen, y'all, so it can come out like that. She's frozen. This is like a hamburger. Man, I should have screwed this thing down. All right, we're going to go ahead and finish this. I might go get my screw gun, screw down this uh, grinder plate, but uh, and we'll get her done. We will get it done. All right, we got the chimney full, and uh, she's about halfway ready. Y'all can see down in there, we got the hot coals going on, and uh, we'll get about five more minutes with dumping in the grill, get them burgers started. All right, we're gonna put the coals in the grill, guys. That's, that's why I use my chimney outside the grill so it don't take the light from your grill. Yep, always a good thing to use a chimney and don't put it on your grill. We'll let it heat up a little bit. spray that with some spray butter or something before uh, we cook on it. Alright, we use a little bit of cooking spray, canola oil, just fog it a little bit so it don't flame up and that way uh, burgers won't stick y'all. Protect them grates. We have 400 degrees. Got good. I mean, look how good they look. That's about a 70 30% right there, guys. Yeah. Can't wait. Put the biggest one on the most heat. We'll give her about I don't know, 10 minutes and we'll check it and flip it. Alright, we'll, we'll give her a once over. See what they look like. Ah, 
right, we'll give her about five more minutes. We'll make sure it's done, guys. Make it a little crunchy on the outside and juicy on the inside. Hey, this thing's almost ready. Anybody can do this. I mean, like I said, if I had to do it all over again, I'd let the meat be a little bit more frozen. And that way you get a pretty grind. But use that coarse, use that coarse grinder. Um, then come back and fine grind. I don't have a course and I will be purchasing one, but like Lisa said, we can't wait. Next year, raccoon meatloaf. Oh my gosh, don't that sound good? Because deer meatloaf is 10 times better than beef meatloaf, trust me. All right guys, look like they're ready. Cheese is melting. Yes, sir. All right, guys, this is a big test. Raccoon burgers. Yes, sir. All right, baby. Will I die? Guess we'll know tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, look at that. What's it taste like? Be honest. A hamburger? It tastes more like hamburger than it does a uh, deer burger. No lie. Wow. My tomato keeps shooting off. But look. Man. That is so good. No lie. Try it sometime. Y'all get out there and y'all trap these animals. If you're going to trap them, you might as well eat them. You know? And that is really good. That really surprised me. I was kind of skeptical on it. But I said, nobody's done it on the internet. Nobody's done it on YouTube. Why not try it? Because the animal's an animal. As long as we put the fat in there with it, give it the flavor. So, hopefully y'all give it a try. And if you would, leave a comment in the bottom. You know, if you try it, say it was yay or nay. But uh, till next time, I'm going to eat my hamburger while it's hot. Till next time, later. Raccoon burger. Raccoon burger. Really, it is, man. <laughs>